Yeah. Hello, we are from Camping School Macau. Our company name is Nero. I'm the CTO of this company. And this is Madao. He is our CEO of our company. Next, Madao will talk about our ROV. Our company name is called Nero, and our ROV's name is also called Nero. And we use the aluminum strap and the agaric sheets to construct our ROV. And you can see we have our thrusters at the corners. It is because if we put the thrusters at the corners, then we can shift left and right. That means we can have all the horizontal, horizontal motions in the sea. And we also have our manipulator here. It can open and close and it is because it is free just. So it can grip the things more stably. And here is the measuring tape. It's for the for the task uh, we need to that we need to measure the shift track. And uh, there's a uh, garlic sheet here. There's a hole on that. And we have a partially cut partially cut bottle. It makes us can uh, more easy to attach the pie at the ship crack. And we can also see a compass here. The compass we usually see is a round top. It, the pointer of it, it will easily get stuck because it can't be horizontal. But the round, but the ball top, or ball top compass. It can keep horizontal automatically, so we choose to use it. And here is the metal sensor. We can check the things is metal or not. Then uh, we also make the simulate sensor with the agaric sheets. So uh, it is it is combined into one system. And here is the two cameras. This one is for the forward eyesight. And this one is for looking at the, all the device of our ROV. Then Kip will tell you more about the electronics of our ROV. Okay, thanks, Madame. Our electronic system is combined by two parts. One is onboard control system and one is control panel. And uh, I use the te communicate technology called RS485 to communicate between onboard control system and control panel so that you you can see I only have to plug two cables to connect an ROV that you can control it very well this one is for power and blue one is for signal also I use a PS2 gamepad to control this ROV I set the program that makes sure people when people use this ROV they feel just like playing the video game is very user user friendly. And next, we will go to the the small pool to test our ROVs different kinds of motions. Let's go.